But I got the lightning like Kakashi. My mind's been lost just like my car keys. I see devil dead to hell and freeze. Oh, hey. <laughs> I didn't see you there. I'm Finn from No Comply, and this is Show and Tell. Uh, for this episode of Show and Tell, I'm going to be showing and uh, telling you about a small part of my record collection, some of my favorite records. Uh, things that I've collected over the years that have shaped and influenced my taste in music and sort of the styles that I take, who I look up to. So let's get right into it. Uh, Schoolboy Q, Oxymoron. Uh, anybody that knows me knows that I'm a huge TDE fan and uh, I've been a big fan of Schoolboy for a very long time. Um, yeah, he's sick. Uh, got Untitled Our Master, Kendrick Lamar. Um, one of my favorite artists ever. Uh, I remember mean, when this came out, we were playing a show with another band down at Raglan. And uh, this dropped, and me and a few of the homies got into a friend's car, and we blasted on repeat like four times at three in the morning or something ridiculous. Um, another great album. Malibu, Anderson Pack. Uh, I just think he's super funky. I think it was real fresh. I think his album was super fresh and it was quite different. It was just a, a one big vibe, one big happy vibe. So I like that. The bird is the word. Uh, Leisure. Also one of my favorite albums. One of my favorite, oh, my favorite Kiwi group. Um, I don't know how many times I spun this record. I don't know how many shows of theirs I've been to. Um, I could tell you all the lyrics from the songs. So. Shameless Lee, Fisher Plug. Uh, George Benson, because of Breezen. That's all I have to say about that one. Run the Jewels. I still love Run the Jewels. I went through a big Run the Jewels phase. Um, I've got the other ones too, but this album for me was my favorite. Uh, I love LP's production, Killer Mike's and Boss. Yeah, this album just kind of did it for me. Um, Evandale Bowling Club, Tom Scott. It's one of the reasons I got into rapping in the first place. Uh, him, Kendrick, and Mac Miller, you think my favorite artists, favorite rappers, poets. Um, and I love jazz, and I think he just did an amazing job at blending um, his talent for jazz music with this. And I need to cop the live version as well, because I couldn't make it to the power station, but here it is. So that's next on the card. And then yeah, Tom Scott, Kendrick, Mac Miller. Uh, one of my biggest influences as well, um, RIP. He was amazing. I mean, I started listening to him with kids and uh, best day ever, all the way through to uh, when he passed away. And um, I think watching him grow like progressively through each album, you can see him like growing up and he's going through something different. and he's, He's just a true artist, and uh, I'd love to call inside his mind or we'll have a conversation with him one day. I actually love Magnolia so much, I got two of those, so I don't know, take it places, I guess. And finally, Damn by Kenny. I thought this was appropriate because it's three years, like a week ago or the other day or something. Um, again, repeat. Uh, all Kendrick is amazing, but I really love this album. It's just a bit more moody and to go from something like Pimp Butterfly, which is really politically, politically charged and informative, and then to go to something like this, and just like washing guitars, and it's, I thought it was a real cool switch up. I'm super excited to see what he's got next. Um, I also love this one, because I got that limited edition with the signature on it. <laughs> it's kind of talking about, you yeah. know. I like it. That's my record collection. Go listen to some of this music. Go check out some of the Kiwi music in there. I've been Finn from No Comply, and this has been Show and Tell.